Hey, it's Kurt Kelly from Actors Reporter and Live Video Inc. We have coverage of NAB 2012. Stick around in this episode. Some exciting new innovations and breakthroughs on tomorrow's production today. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please be seated. Thank you so much. Oh, can't be walking by on the grass. What's wrong with you, buddy? And the memorable moments that he created during the long and Kurt Kelly from Actors Reporter and Live Video Inc. We are live at NAB 2012. If you think there are speed bumps in the road ahead in technology, stay tuned. We'll have some things that will show you some amazing new technologies that will take you far beyond your imagination where you can watch 3D without having glasses, where you can be in total control of your next sporting television broadcast. And if they have 100 cameras there, with a new technology, you'll have the ability to direct and produce your own sporting event and so much more. So stay tuned. This is Actors Reporter, and I'm Kurt Kelly from Live Video Inc. Coming up in this episode, details from EVS on a new technology that will let you decide what you see on your TV. Welcome back to the Actors Reporter with Kirk Kelly. I'm Tom Mikovitz here at the South Point. We are going to take the limits high for you. We're here in Vegas, and the action is hot. Coming up in a few moments, a voice you may remember. Stephen Gorillo, who formerly worked with Howard Stern, is going to give us a look at a new LED light system that has been developed that can save money and still light up the set. Well, we developed a new LED light that basically runs on 3.8 amps, so you don't use 220. And there's a lot of aspects. Anybody know who the, the lights, the big lights, the um, uh, HMI lights, they, they run on 220 amps of power. And you have to find separate electric to run it to these lights. And it's a lot of electricity. So this is, runs on 3.8 amps. You can fit five of them on a power strip and plug it into a hundred regular socket. So you're already cutting out electric down by... I, I, I don't know, but it's a significant amount of electricity on top of the fact that you're not running an air conditioner. So this is actually a much more green, and I get the impression for those who are more techie oriented that you're putting out equal or higher looms and floor lamps for people to use. It's the most powerful LED out there. We, we make a white light and a color light, and our color light has special effects built in, so it's a workhorse light. It can do anything. If, you're, if there's a police scene, we have police lights. Old police car, new police car, ambulance, old, new. Uh, so light, you, you, light literally could, you literally could make, okay, here is a very glowing orange sunset on Malibu Bay. You exactly. could create that light. Exactly. Exactly. We can put daylight on the talent's face and put the background of the police lights with the same one light. So this light we have right now is actually light you guys provided today? Uh, we did provide that light today. is provided by uh, Brightshot. You can look up us on <laughs> brightshot.com. We provide the sunlight here in Vegas. Yes, very nice. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to sidetrack for just a second. We'll come back. Um, Howard Stern, yes. tell, me, tell me something. Uh, what could I say? It was uh, one of the most fun parts of my life to date. Um, I worked. You dated Howard Stern? I, well, to, to date? No, it was like a marriage, yes. Uh, okay. Yeah, he told me what to do and yelled at me, and I put my head down and I did it. It's Kurt Kelly from Actors Reporter and Live Video Inc. Stay tuned. Our celebrity spotlight is coming up with NAB Hall of Fame inductee Betty White and much more. We're watching so Actors so Reporter with well. your host, Kurt okay. Kelly. Our celebrity spotlight is someone who has some great advice on what to do if you want the longevity she's had. Film and television star Betty White was inducted to the NAB Broadcasting Hall of Fame during a very special breakfast ceremony at the 2012 NAB show, which happened Tuesday morning, April 17th. Her career has spanned more than 60 years, seven-time Emmy Award winner, and an unforgettable person when it comes to television roles and films. She's also authored seven books and won countless awards. Betty White is admired by generations of audiences and has had a remarkable ability to stay through all of the years. Oh my goodness, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please be seated, thank you so much. And thank everybody here so much. I, I particularly want to thank Senator Gordon Smith and the, the NAB Television Board and, I've, and each and every one of you for being here. Oh, my word. And 
these pictures knock me out. It, that, my family and my, didn't we have some great dogs? <laughs> I, uh, well, I thank you with all my heart, and now I think I come on over and play over here. Thank you. Meet NAB Hall of Fame inductee, Betty White. Oh, what a beautiful crowd. This is a big crowd this early in Las Vegas. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I forget, <laughs> I forget where we are. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations, Betty. And uh, I think everyone wonders after your long and storied career, was, was it always your dream to be in film and television? No, I started out, I wanted to be a forest ranger, but <laughs> I did. And uh, in the, back then, uh, all those years ago, girls couldn't be forest rangers. But recently, just last year, the, the Forest Service made me an honorary forest ranger, so I finally made right. it. <laughs> and, Everybody giggles when I say that, but it was one of the highest honors. I can't tell you what a thrill it is to be an honorary forest ranger. And I'm very, very deeply committed to protecting our wilderness, which is disappearing so Good. fast. The former senator from Oregon, I thank you for that. We love oh, our wilderness God, areas. You from a beautiful state. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us about some of your favorite roles in film and television? Uh, all of them. All of them. <laughs> I just love working, and I love having the 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 fun of of playing various things. But I think I have to say Rose Nyland and Sue Ann Nivens. Elka on Hot in Cleveland is kind of a pain in the neck. <laughs> <laughs> but I love but I love Rose and, and Sue Ann. Well, we loved you in those roles. So <laughs> okay. thank you for coming into our homes and our living rooms for. Oh. Seven decades, it's you, pretty amazing. And you can't get rid of me yet. No, <laughs> we don't want to. Hi, this is Sheena Easton. We'll be right back with more, so please don't go away. Hi, I'm Kurt Kelly from NAB 2012 in Las Vegas with Live Video Inc. and Actors Reporter. Coming up in this episode, details from EVS on a new technology that will let you decide what you see on your TV. Kurt Kelly, Actors Reporter, with EVS Technologies, continuing what we were talking about earlier, uh, with Yoan. Yoan, yes, Yoan. And I, I was trying to say Yoan's last name, and he said just Project Supervisor of CCAST. That's a long last name. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> it's a good one. So CCAST, you can demonstrate for us, so you can show how the end user could use it on their television. They could use it on maybe a, an iPad or an Android application. How would this work? Well, actually, the product is uh, providing APIs and the footage to the in the cloud, and the customers can build its own application he wants. So it could be an iPad application, could be a smartphone application, could be a laptop, it could be anything as long as it's internet connected. So if I'm watching an event, um, like a sporting event, and I decide, eh, the ref probably didn't know what he was talking about, I could actually pull up the camera at that angle to see how accurate the call was? Yeah, that's the idea. So basically, the producer is selecting the best moments in the game and is selecting which camera available, is uh, available to the end user. Once that is done, the end user can then select its own camera angle and review the action as many times as he wants. Can you show us an example of how this would work? Yeah, so for example, I have here an iPad which is connected on the screen behind me, and we have a set of action that are on the left side, mm -hmm. okay? Right. And you can select a key moment, and then afterwards review the same action from any of the camera angle here. So I now picked this one, and I'm going to take another angle, and that's exactly the same action. Okay. I can review, and that's as many times as I want. So each time we're seeing the same view from any of the many camera angles that may be in a stadium. Exactly. If you have 20 cameras in the stadium, you can review the 20 angles. Could I capture this stream and create my own show to show to someone, here's what I'm capable of doing as an aspiring producer or director? Okay, the technology 
could be used for that, but that's a matter of rights. So if the um, our customers allows you to do it, why not? I like that. Now, I had a thought when we were talking about this earlier that if we could use this for sports and uh, obviously music events, why not do this so we keep the people in politics honest and do this for the conventions that are coming up? Well, that's actually funny because what, when we came to that uh, show here in Las Vegas, we, we thought about this politics uh, stuff. So we also made a, a mock-up for politics. So, for example, I'm going to have here run through a... It's the same layout because we made just change of skin, so you don't worry about the, the layout. But the idea is you have different information, and you can also go through the best moments of the of the debate and select which of the parts you want to, to review, and then you can review the, the best moment of the the convention as many times as you want and share with your friends. This could literally be a new way to keep them honest, uh, as as we've heard people would like to do and accountable where you could catch reporters from any reporter on the floor and maybe somebody who might have been edited by the network you could still hear and blog about. Yeah exactly and, you, and also if you don't have enough time to broadcast your information because maybe you only have a 10 minutes show you can still put all your footage online and share with your community all your, uh, your footage and all your interventions. So, um, on a, something like this technology, this is something that's ready to deploy right now for the conventions this year? Yeah, one week delay. One week delay, meaning like we have to go talk to them, they have to say yes, we can set it up, or exactly. one week delayed from the live broadcast? No, one week delayed to make it the project up. You can have this up and running in yeah, one week? If you want, we can do that. So if I'm talking with you two, who I've worked with over the years, and say, hey guys, you want to do another concert from the Rose Bowl, they could have this up in one week. Yeah. Of course, there is a delay for uh, April uh, approval if you want to make an iPad application. But on our side, the technology is ready to be shipped. Hi, I'm Cami Coleman with Chameleon Productions, and this is Jill Clausen Smith with Chameleon Productions. We are here with actors reporter Kurt Kelly, who will be back in a moment. Tomorrow's technology is here today from any angle. I'm Kurt Kelly with Actors Reporter and Live Video Inc. from NAB. Coming up, details on T3 Motion, a new technology that will help you shoot your film a lot easier. Uh, as you see it today, obviously it's a two-man operation here. The operator of the vehicle also has capability of seeing what is being filmed on this display screen. But the uh, operator can also be the camera operator and the vehicle operator because we're on a stable platform and easy to control motorcycle throttle, motorcycle brake, just standard equipment, and all we need to do without any weight of the camera, just direct the camera to the right position and you're viewing it on this monitor. So very easy to do. So what is the top speed on this? Uh, the police version, we, sell for, uh, we set up for 20 miles an hour, uh, security 15, and uh, civilian version, we set up for 12. Interesting scale. This is, what I'm sitting on is just a mount to the standard unit. So this mount could be put onto any, that's, these are both the same thing, just this has a mount to it. You could put that trailer connected to this, to this, this, uh, this unit. So you could have me, uh, me operating this, the driver, and on the back you could have a focus puller, you could have a sound person, you could have a director, you could have whatever you wanted on the trailer uh, at the same time. It could be run in any configuration. That's the, the advantage to it. It's modular and you set it up the way you need it for what you're shooting. Tomorrow's technology is here today from any angle. I'm Kurt Kelly with Actors Reporter and Live Video Inc. from NAB. Hi, I'm Allison Williams here with BA 2012 representing Kennedy King College from Chicago, Illinois. And you're watching Actors Reporter Live Video Inc. with your host, Kurt Kelly. Kurt Kelly with Actors Reporter and Live Video Inc. We have the distinguished pleasure to be with um, Guido, who is a project leader at Adobe Labs. That's right. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. And you have, in cooperation with Philips, Am I saying that correctly? Um, a unique technology, which was one of the things I was talking about throughout the event with some other people, where I can now watch Dolby Phillips television in 3D without 3D glasses. Yeah, that's right. This is a technology to provide the images for new displays like the one that we're showcasing here at NAB, where you can enjoy 3D on your couch with no glasses. So how is this done? 
So the way it's done uh, on the display, there are different technologies. Uh, uh, the one that we're showcasing for the large display is a lenticular layer that allow you to project multiple images to all the audience. Uh, so each of the uh, user in front of the screen can enjoy stereoscopic viewing without wearing the glasses. Now, how does this also impact, I'm sure, since you're Dolby, how does this impact the sound field? Does it come with full surround sound for my home theater? Of course. We, we are promoting here the full immersion 3D experience where on top of the surround sound that we are well known for, also the image is 3D and then the whole immersion is really enjoyable, again, without wearing any gear. So if I had something that wasn't 3D, but I had obviously your 3D gear here, how would it look, could I play it on the screen? Well, we are focusing really on the technology to right. prepare the content for those displays versus we expect those displays to be manufactured by the traditional C manufacturers. And what we really are doing, we're taking the left and right eye of the existing 3D content and then rendering it for those new displays. Now it's time for the NAB 2012 special bonus moments from Las Vegas. You're a new guy. You're just getting started here. Well, I listen. I, <laughs> I, I'm not very new. That's for sure. So, what is your responsibility at a show like this? Because you're a special operations guy. Yeah. Well, we, we're just we do security, make sure this stuff doesn't get ripped off. Oh, so like a million dollars doesn't walk out of a booth? And that's correct, and there's a lot of money here. There is. I mean, in the Sony booth alone, somebody told me there's over $10 million worth of inventory. I think they probably have more than that. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised after walking through there. I mean, there's a couple of cameras over here that are worth a couple hundred thousand um, sitting right back of me. Could you make sure someone puts those in our car before <laughs> yeah, we go? Sure, no, absolutely. just kidding. Um, so. Are you involved from previous experience in the entertainment industry? No, not at all. We're, 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 uh, we've been doing work for Canon for about for as long as I've been here. And, uh, and uh, they like what we do. I guess we keep open. We keep awake. That's nice. So um, how many days or weeks ahead do you come to a show like this and start working? Well, I should, this show is, was fairly, it's, started it launched fairly fast 
But at some place, something like CES, they, they can be two or three weeks. So you actually work for Canon specifically on their events. So if they have well a on this one, on this one, yes. Okay. If they were to have a show in another city, would you go work on it also? Uh, not us, but uh, there are people who do, in fact, do that. Okay. And how many people are involved in putting on a show like this? <laughs> I don't know. I lost who, count. Who the knows? Quite these are the geniuses who make it happen. I mean, these these Seriously. booths cost mega bucks. Absolutely. Me mega mega bucks, and they do design them over uh, uh, sometimes years. This is a brand new booth. By the way. It's interesting because when people come in here, they don't really realize everything that goes on behind the scenes. And that's why we're shooting some of the footage of that type of stuff. But also the amount of money Pardon that me, is spent just building displays huge, like this. Huge. This display alone could be a $5 million it display could, it, between it, staffing, it could hard be, work, It could logos. even be more than that. Wow. So, some, of the, uh, some of the booths at some of these shows can, uh, can cost upwards of $16, $20 million. And that's just the booth, not including the people, the staff, that's it, correct. That's all correct. the literature to promote a business card, hotel expenses. So it's obviously obvious that the, uh, the people who put these things on, it's got to be worth it. Absolutely. If not, they've got a great tax write-off. <laughs> Very nice to meet you, nice Mr. Special you. Operations. You got it. Thank you, and have a great show. So how long have you been doing this? Uh, I started when I was 10, so it's been, I don't know, five so, or six years now. Uh, it's, it's been, you, know what, uh, do you, you must enjoy life. doing I it. I do. I, I, I've worked in radio and television and film. Wow, this is the reverse interview. The interview You got it, why the interviewer. Thank you. Um, I'll tell you what, I, I've been retired for a long time. I, I was in a computer business most of my life. Really? And uh, about two years ago I decided I'd go, since I was still vertical, I would go back to work for Apple Computer. I work, wow. I work at where one of those blue shirts at this nice. the store. So it's fun. Question then, since sure. you're a computer guy. Because the thing that we've been observing since we've been here, because I actually got here Friday night, we have spent the last two days trying to find internet speed in this town because none of the hotels have it. Let me tell you, this Is town this, has real problems with internet, and I can... That's an understatement. I, well, I've had dial-up that was faster. The problem they've got, frankly, is that uh, it's a combination of two th three things. One of them is that because of the way the buildings are set up here, we have got real tough, re it's really tough to produce decent uh, internet uh, service. I mean, uh, it's the Wi-Fi even around here, well, is, that, is it like we've got near Hangar 57 or something in uh, well, the desert? It is, that's not it, but uh, if you take, for instance, in this building today, I think there are about 35 different uh, Wi-Fi networks up. So wow. there's an awful lot. I mean, that's that's, an that's awful a lot, lot of, of signals. Right. That's a lot of competition uh, crashing with each other. So, right. so there are some technical difficulties with the, uh, making this happen. But I think also the uh, I don't think the hotels have done a really good job of what they could do. Uh, well, it's interesting because we were literally dialing for hotels with my crew over the last two days, and there were some hotels where it's like, hey, you can get 30 meg down. Okay, what's your upload speed? Oh, we don't have that. Zero. <laughs> well, no. What if I want to put a picture on Facebook? We don't Can't have do that. It. And I didn't know if that was maybe a sports book issue. They were afraid people would be leaking I sports don't, books. I don't think so. So I, it has nothing to do no, with. No, my opinion. And my opinion is that the technical. They. Not. It isn't compared to other places. It's not it. It does. It's not high on their list. Really. It's kind of weird. Yeah. I mean, for the amount the city has grown got, and transient people coming from around the planet, I would have thought it would have been but it, as advanced as the Los Angeles. But, it, or New York. but it, on the other hand, we have a thing called. Uh, uh, there's a an amazing place here, which is where. Um, about three, uh, well, actually five major pipes connect right. all, from all over the country. So we have one from a. You have a big hub. We have a really here big, somewhere. Yes, huge, and it, it's kind of like uh, like an OC three or something. Oh, it's 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 one of the it's it's phenomenal. So it's we've got state of the art stuff. Well, which you we would have to because of DOD's area in the desert yeah, here. That's one of the that reasons. Alone. But it's just it happens to be physically there. So that, wow. So that's really that's neat. Now, since you've worked in the in industry of, of, of telephony or computer technology, why is it, without 
necessarily naming names, but to get a clearer picture on it, the companies will represent, well, we have high speed, but their speeds aren't what they might want people to think they are. At least that's been my experience. I don't, that I can't answer. I think that one of the things is that technology is a lot more complex than you think it is. I mean, it, it, it's not, you know, when you just, when you say 3G, 4G, you know, what the hell. Yeah, high speed, what is high speed? But yeah. it is a, uh, what it will happen though, and it's going to happen fairly fast, this, the new, the new, what they call LTE or 4G, LTE, is going to come yeah. in, yeah, it's going to come in fast and you're going to see marked improvement in service. So much so, I went and bought one of those devices today because of the hotel situation we just discussed. And we went from having less than a megabyte up or down to 15 meg up and down in the same hotel, yeah. jumping on the 4G LTE. Yeah. And that's today. Blink and in five minutes we'll have something else. It's well, going it's, it, it's going to be really phenomenal. And, and, and by the way, that's going to have, all that's going to have a major impact on this whole industry. The, the broadcasting mm -hmm. industry is in huge change. Huge change. It's going to change dramatically. Yeah. Well, that and now that people can be their own television channel on the internet. You got it. You develop enough programming and an audience behind you, you can become viral. Well, one of the things you might want to do is, if you get a chance tomorrow when they open this thing, look at their uh, their 4K <laughs> movies that they they produced. We just saw some at the Sony booth. Well, go in here. These guys have got some amazing yeah, they've, ones. They've, they've, they've uh, produced, yeah, produced completely with their new camera. Their, their really? new camera is fantastic. Anyway, this 4K is phenomenal. Right. I, I love Canon products. I've certainly used them a lot over the years. Um, and if you take a look at any of this stuff here, this is truly amazing stuff. As I said, I'm a, a landscape photographer. And I, I mean, wow. it's, a, it's an amazing thing to see what has occurred technologically. Yeah, because now you can get a film book without having to get oh, all well, the expense. You, and you can manipulate a maneuver uh, way better than you could in the dark. Room. Right. I and mean, it's really phenomenal. And, it, and these new cameras, which of course are both, both uh, digital. Uh, digital. Well, they're HD. both. Uh, uh, Still cameras and uh, and uh, video cameras. Right. I mean, I've got a little camera which I shoot, which I do all my pictures in the desert and wherever I shoot. It does video and it's phenomenal. It's 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 a couple of years old, but you could uh, so I could shoot video and stills with the same camera. It's a Canon. Right. I, I um, went to um, a show recently that someone asked me to go to, and we were able to shoot with a Canon. There it is. HD quality. That's correct. Literally yes, video. That's right. And surround sound on this little still camera. That's correct. This camera shoots not only video, it's fantastic. but audio and stills. It's and, a, and amazing the way the technology. They're new. They're new to the G11, which is just the point and shoot. Is terrific. By the way, what's happening is in these in the in your in your uh, phones, and I like an iPhone, the new iPhone 4S. Got a phenomenally, uh, phenomenal uh, still camera in it. Wow! And it also shoots high definition television. Right. And the new, the newest, the iPad, the new iPad. Well, has, everybody's coming out with it. The Samsung does yeah. the same thing. Well, the or? new iPad, the new iPad is spectacular. It's got four times the definition what it used to have. They call it what a, a Retina display, and that is amazing. I almost bought one today. Yeah, I bought one. They were out of stock. Well, we have them in stock over at the form shop, so come on in. 